All right, what's up guys? So we're back at it today. Like one thing left to do <clears throat> before I pull the engine out. And that is take the torque converter bolts out. I mean, pretty easy job considering all this is gone. Just got a 36 millimeter on the crankshaft. Light shining so I can see till the bolt comes around, which I've already taken that one out. Loosen it up, spin it out with the impact, grab it with a magnet, and then do it again. So I'm gonna set you up on time lapse and show you here what I'm doing. Well, that wasn't the most fun thing to do, but it worked. I mean, barely worked, but yeah, in the time lapse, got all those torque converter bolts out, and then I took the transmission bolts out and had to roll the truck forward because the crane wouldn't reach enough, but then the hood hit the light, so I had to put it back down into the normal bolt holes, roll the truck forward um, to about here, so that way this is like where the crane would reach to. And then put it back into the service position. The crane barely cleared the door and the light, like touching them. And then just had enough lift to get the engine lifted off and separated from the transmission. But then I had to roll this truck back, take it back out of service position, and get it back far enough. And then I could drop the engine down and pull my service truck forward because the crane wouldn't retract back in with the weight of the engine on it. So. Yeah, a lot of little tinkering, but it's on the shop floor, or garage floor, <laughs> so I'm used to saying shop, but yeah, I'm happy. That was, that was a challenge, and it was a bit chilly, and the wind's coming right out of the north, so it was blowing right in this door, but we got it. We'll have to do something different when we go back together, but we got it.